the sum of ten pounds, I bought a sheet of four foot by four foot by twelve mil ply. The track was set on top, and then uh, the gap in the middle was cut out with a jigsaw. And having first carefully studied the uh, track layout, the old quarry branch is removed. Here it is, looking rather disused and unloved. This was one of the reasons for doing the deviation, so I could use the existing track. I've just had a little change of idea. How about using some sort of brick piers at the ends, each end of this bridge, like this. And then if we cut out um, from here to there, because we won't need that support anymore. We could run a different shaped piece of wood um, between there and there and free up even more of the flower bed. Of course, it's terribly important to run a train over the new bit of railway is the very second that it becomes even remotely usable. Sounds pretty terminal. Good. Hmm. The moment you realise that the project has sort of caused more. Uh, problems than <laughs> anything else. Yes, the railway is starting to look a bit like a scrapyard at this end. Um, I've been considering the layout of the turntable and wharf area, maybe trying to squeeze in a loco shed, which we're sorely in need of, uh, and getting it to connect up with this pair of points and not lose too much train space in the station. Yes, hmm. We'll keep going. With these two station roads, I'm going to just start again, uh, pull them up, start again, lay them again, rather than trying to modify them in situ. Most of the ballast is now gone. Uh, it's just a shame to interrupt the moss that started growing, but we'll uh, take them up and rebend them to shape in a different orientation. Scene of destruction. <laughs> So with all the so with all the bits cut to shape, I'm going to now paint it with some black bitumastic paint and then put some roofing felt on top. I discovered this rather nifty way of putting in the roofing sets. You just squeeze them in with a pair of mole grips, which saves the rather awkward job of hammering upwards. The pieces of felt were then joined by means of melting the edges with a blowtorch and squidging it down a bit.
Oh no. <laughs> and with the Pico set track panels lightly nailed down temporarily, this bit of the line is ready to use. 